how's it going? Oh man, it is great to be here at last. I almost didn't make it. Uh, recently got in kind of a bad car accident. It's one of those where uh, your whole life sort of flashes before your eyes, you know? And uh, I'm a husband and a father. And in that moment, I thought, my God, my family is going to find my porn on the computer. <laughs> Nobody needs to know about daddy's midget fetish, you know what I mean? That's for me. Right? You married guys you know you got to hide that stuff from the wife, right? They can't find that. So what I do is I rename all my files. I give them titles I know she's not going to be interested in. Like, um, ways to save money. Or, uh, my hopes and dreams, you know. <laughs> Just deleted that one, but, uh, right? Because I've been married 10 years, 10 years. So I need my porn. Because when you've been married 10 years, you don't just have sex whenever you want. You gotta have a reason. And that's gotta be good. The only way I get sex anymore, like birthdays or anniversaries or Ambien. Uh, doesn't so much put her in a mood for sex, more of a condition, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not picky. Hey, sex changes when you've been married 10 years, you know? Started out, kiss my face, pull my hair, now shave your face, and you're on my hair. Get away from me. The sexy talk, you know? And it used to be like that. When we first hooked up, my wife would wear all the sexy stuff to bed, you know? Stuff that said, come get some. Now the stuff she wears is, don't get any ideas. What she wears now is the same stuff she wears as she's going to paint. <laughs> you married women know that uniform. I don't know where you get that. Victoria's Secret of a home improvement section. I don't know. From the Home Depot lingerie line, maybe. You guys heard about all this text, this uh, sexting that all the kids are doing? You know, they're taking pictures of themselves with their cell phone and sending it to each other. It's crazy. You know, I'm married, young at heart. I thought, why not, right? Sent a picture to my wife out of the blue, right? I'm a little shy, though. I sent her a picture of someone else. She responds, she goes, is that your friend Jeff? I'm like, wait, what? I'm like the son of that. My wife hates when I do jokes about her. Hates it. Mm. I don't know what she said, but yeah. <laughs> but I tell her, look, sweetheart, that I'm just joking, right? They're just jokes. Don't mean anything. You can take a joke, can't you? I can take a joke. So if you wrote jokes about me, I would tell them. So she did. <laughs> would you guys like to hear a joke my wife wrote about me? <laughs> Sex with my husband is like a successful bank robbery. He's in and out before anyone knows what happened. It's not funny. It's not funny. Are there a lot of married people here tonight? It looked like earlier, maybe a few. Married people never have the energy. Yeah. Keep telling your jokes, joke boy. I get it. It's interesting, I was reading the other day the marriage actually lowers your risk for heart attack, but raises your desire for it, which I find <laughs> interesting that it works. The other day, my, uh, my five-year-old, my five-year-old, and the other day he asked me, he said, Daddy, what's marriage? Yeah, how do you explain marriage to a five-year-old? I said, well, imagine if I took away all of your toys, <laughs> except one, just that one toy. And after six months, that toy stopped playing with you. <laughs> and for some reason, you can never get the sound to shut off. So that's... Wow. 
what else is going on? I got a motorcycle recently. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. Because for the longest time, my wife wouldn't let me have one. But uh, apparently, we've been married long enough that my untimely death. She used to be concerned for my safety. Now she's like, helmet, pussy. Get out of here. Hey, thanks, everybody. I'm Tom Sims.